it going guys? Neil Bauman here with Parakey on some more tips on mastering mobile. Today, we're gonna dive into macros. How to maintain them, how to create them, and how to just kinda uh, manage the whole set of macros throughout your lifetime as an adjuster, roofer, whatever it is you do. Sometimes, like we find it daily, uh, me and Armand here, you find things or errors within your macros, like our, your full roof replace or your full ceiling replacement, one of the line items is set to 32 square feet or the wrong code, or you find that uh, you wanna add a fixture to the room that you keep running into that's not in your macro, like fluorescent bulbs. We, we added a fluorescent light strip in last week, for example. So I'm gonna show you how to, when you come to that moment and you wanna make an edit, you wanna make a change, I'm gonna show you how to do so to where you don't screw up the rest of your macro list and also how to keep it in line and keep it in order uh, for your whole estimate, your whole inspection and how things goes about. If you guys do purchase my macros, this is also a great video to watch to show you to how to maintain and manage ours. Some of our line items are set to high grade, some are set to lower. You guys might not be into that or might not need that for what you do. So we're gonna show you how to edit them and change them. So let's follow along. All right, y'all. So we're gonna dive into macro editing and maintaining, managing, all that good stuff. So here, this first macro that we're gonna be looking at, this is my ceiling. Uh, let me <laughs> click on it just to show you guys which ones I selected here so i do my if, first off let me start by saying this so left side you got your personal codes okay that's where you see the a a1 a2 a, and so on over here you got the description if you also notice i have them 1a 1b 1c 1c1 uh i do this for a very specific reason for exactment mobile in the mobile application it organizes it by code within the desktop version it organizes it by the description so if you were to just organize the description and not care about the code it would jumble it all up when you get into mobile and then it's not in the order that i find is uh you know the most user friendly i have mine in this order for a reason uh i start from the roof i go down to the gutters fascia soffit siding i go all the way down until i get into my twos which is my interior stuff so Basically, you want to get these codes set up just right. If you notice some of mine, I think this 1C and then 1C1, and then it goes to 1D. Well, this can, this shows you after you buy macros or you create your own macros, whatever it is, um, you'll see know that when you see this, is this was an edit. Originally, I had the 1C, then 1D, and then I was like, one day I was like, oh, man, I forgot the damn uh, mobile home roof. So I added a 1C1 and I put it an A4A. You know, so anytime you want to add something in between it, you're going to have to label it, you know, 1C2 and then AA4B. So if you get what I'm saying, you have to organize both. So it can get a little tricky, but I'm going to show you guys how to do so. So we'll look at the ceiling, full hand, uh, full replace, and we're just going to kind of dive through it and show you guys some things here. So this is my macro um these are part of the macros that i have for sale again you do not need to purchase mine this could show you how to do them and make them yourself because even if you were to purchase my macros they're not going to be exactly what you need i want that to be known right now you're going to need to do some edits you're going to have to put some work in but yes i can give you that structure or you can watch this video put the time in and make you uh, make your own it'd take you i mean it took me a couple of days total of time, but it's worth it because now, you know, I, I cruise through these jobs. So the start of all my macros, I have a header for each one so I can break it up into ceiling, walls, floors, whatever part of the uh, room or exterior I'm working on. It just kind of breaks it down nice and keeps it nice and clean and compact and it separates my uh, my estimates from others. So let's say you wanted to add, you know um uh, i really got everything handled in here it will show a good one that i know that actually i know that i have to edit so i was noticing this last week my garage ceiling my garage ceiling is all out of whack and i'm going to show you why delete that so the garage ceiling look at this this is a full replacement one that i have going on here look at these codes set to 32 i need that to be ceiling i need that to be ceiling 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 i mean the floor would have worked obviously but still ceiling 
Now, if you look into my macros, I know some of you are probably looking at my codes and you're like, oh, he's got removal twice. Well, I'm, I run into different situations. Um, if it's immediately after the storm, then most of the time I'm tearing out the wet drywall. I'm bagging that up and getting it out of there. Well, we're six, seven, eight months uh, post Ian, you know, by now. So I would not need these two, the tear out wet bag insulation. I'm only going to need these first two right here. But I need to resave this again. I just did these edits. I need to save it. And I need to put it in its place of where the AAR 2G garage ceiling is at. Well, I need to get rid of this first and try to save it because I try to save it at the same. It's, it's not going to allow me to do it. So what I'm going to do is select this first one. I'm going to hold shift, select the bottom one. That allows me to select all. For those of you that don't know, shift allows you to select all. Control allows you to select individual when you hold control. Well, we want all. Shift. I got it. So now I'm going to go into this right here. See, these are still lightly highlighted as long as I don't click multiple times. Well, I'm going to edit this and I want to copy this description because I already got to remember the name, the AAR code. So I don't want to have to remember both. It's kind of, you know, my, I'm smart, but I'm not that smart. So let me get rid of that. AAR, I got to try to play a little mind game. Remember that. I delete this. Moment of truth. I got to remember that AAR. Here we go. Bam. Save macro. Yes, it already exists. A A A F. No, I'm just kidding. R. And then Control V. I'm pasting what the old description was. Yes, I'm going to save the line. Item customization. Sometimes you're going to put F9 notes in there, codes, whatnot that you want to uh, people to you know pay attention to. Include attached notes. Definitely. Definitely a huge deal. That's what I mean about the F9 note. Sorry, save line customizations. That means like the if I were to have this as like, excuse me, like my partial replacement, it's all at 32 square feet increments for these. Because uh, in my world, we operate in full sheets of drywall. So I do all my repairs in 32 square foot increments for my partial replacements. Uh, patches I do in four square foot increments because that's just kind of like industry standards. So, OK, saved. Now I got to go hunt that thing down and make sure it's back where it needs to be. Garage ceiling, AAR. Let's delete this. Click on that. Let's check it out. Look at that. Codes are good. Codes are right. So this is huge, guys. I highly, highly suggest. Again, I sell these things. I have them available. I have over 160. Um, I'm not trying to show you my whole pull all my secrets here, but this is basically how I operate and how I do things. <clears throat> Organizing it within the code and the description uh, section will just help you in your mobile application or in your desktop application. If you do not use macros, the whole mobile process is, you know, it's going to speed up your time, but you just got to take that leap. I know people are scared of estimating the field is different than what they're used to at doing it at home, but I'll let you know this. What I do in my evenings is I hang out with my family around my pool. Um, I grill out on my Traeger. I smoke a bunch of meat. I uh, hang out and play cornhole with Armand. That's what I do in my nighttime. Um, I know a lot of us and a lot of people that are watching this video, uh, you probably write estimates in your nighttime. So again, you can trash this concept and not want to jump on it, but that's what I do with my nights. And that's uh, the uh, other uh, scenario that I painted for you is what about 85% of the adjusting world does. So get with the program, get with this, learn a new skill. And uh, within three, four months, or when this storm season comes, you are going to be a force to reckon with. Thanks for watching, guys. We truly appreciate it. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Any business or inquiries, any questions at all, reach out to the email below. That's info at parakey.us. If you're interested in purchasing any of our tools or any referrals, things like that, please also head over to parakey.us to find out more there.